my recent project was still and it is a company uh, uh sharing meditation to uh, to the world and uh, here i am with the founder uh, of still her name is asta and yes. uh, yeah yeah so thank you gokul and uh, i'll quickly introduce myself i'm a yoga teacher i teach yoga meditation pranayam and i wanted to work on an app to get all these teachings out there to more people i spent 6 months uh going crazy and crying because i couldn't get the tech in place and i was fortunate to find gokul and flutterflow uh, on which we ended up building the entire app that i tried for i think 6 months or so i think we got the job done in maybe a week or 10 days so i'm so happy that gokul is applying for this competition and i fully support and recommend this entry and i look forward to discussing what we did uh, on this video call uh yes uh firstly um uh we we have built an initial version this for uh uh asta to experience flood of flow and just explore things as she was uh, experimenting with different things we will just go over the version 1 of what we built and uh, let uh, us to share our experiences of of working with different uh, things and yes, also I how think, i think yeah. because i worked on a few different uh, you know different agencies and this that i was very skeptical so i thought even flutterflow there'll be some problem so i asked gokul that you know can we just in 2 3 days build the functionality i don't care about the design but is this even possible yeah. in flutterflow so that was the agenda for version 1 and i said just use whatever designs you want to use and yeah you can google share the first version that you built i think in two and a half days or so um yeah so while you're sharing it, i can one. just quickly share that the idea is to uh, you know help people build a pranayam or a breathwork habit through gamification mm-hmm. through streaks through content every day and google will now take you through the more product and sort of feature side of it yeah so uh, this uh, particular uh, version what we are showing are uh, showing this is the version 1 which was just uh, built out in a weekend uh, testing things and uh, uh, yeah let's go over the uh, video and uh, see uh, what all things are built uh, in version 1 yeah so here we went with the basic uh, uh, phone authentication so with uh, so there are different people across the globe they can just uh, search their uh, country code and log in with their own uh, local country uh, phone number and uh, yeah they can just uh, enter a number and enter the otp and then they can go to this uh, details field and they can fill all their details and the interesting part is uh, we ha- add the time uh, people can also select time zones here so the main uh, uh, few functionality of this is so we can uh, give personalized experiences uh, for different people across different uh, time zones as people occur in different uh, time zones they'll be using this app so the, the uh, this is the purpose of giving a time zone thing and uh, we have uh, uh, integrated razor pay uh, which was within flutterflow and the interesting feature uh, our concept here is uh, this initial version we didn't do anything uh, extra or custom Uh, what all uh, templates and stuff provided by flutterflow like uh, widgets which is offered by flutterflow and all the prebuilt uh, templates like uh, all the authentication pages profile pages uh, most of the uh, prebuilt things so uh, which, which was uh, resourceful for us building this version 1 and uh, this is a fully wo- working kind of version which uh, we are currently uh, seeing and this is a basic dashboard the main concept is uh, to uh, keep users on uh, new level every day after they practice and we have uh, a type of uh, business logic here so uh, to maintain the discipline of particular user so here i used cloud functions so it, it is uh, the main uh, the uh, good thing is we use cloud functions so it makes so light so we are not adding uh, complex uh, functionality within the app so people uh, doesn't uh, they don't experience any lags or stuff so i choose cloud functions for the, uh, that gamification thing and it is a simple app with uh, basic features which was uh, completely resourceful within flutterflow's capabilities and all the templates widgets uh, provided by flutterflow and yeah uh, and i think the you know just everything from a functional standpoint if a user has to go from one day to the other if they miss a day they are reset all yeah. of these logics were i think done in you know in flutterflow in two two and a half days which yeah is, which is awesome and then i said okay 
I suddenly felt a lot of confidence, not just in Flutter Flow, but also in Gokul and felt that we should now, you know, make the final version, you know, uh, recreate the designs and make it, you know, get into the UX, make it more intuitive and all of that. And uh, which is why, uh, Gokul, you can also show the figmas that we made. So, um, we... yeah. So this is about version one. So which is yeah. a basic working uh, app, which was done. And uh, let us, uh, we, uh, I'll just share my screen and uh, we'll just go over the design which we built, uh, which we thought would be a level two, uh, version two of this particular app. And uh, we'll see how we decided and we'll talk about that. So yes. this is the version two design, which we uh, professionally designed in Figma, which we uh, finally, uh, Asta decided that uh, we should uh, opt to Flutterflow and we are going to build this with confidence. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, this is the uh, design with, with all the features end to end, yeah. all the things like uh, uh, home screens to players and uh, all the things. So yeah, any thoughts on this, Asta? Yeah, I think one thing I want to add, I used to, from whatever experience I had, I used to be very scared of thinking of a new feature. As a founder, I would keep thinking, okay, some version will have this feature. But I used to be very scared to actually design it and give it to the developer because I used to feel this will take a long time. And I think because of Flutterflow being a fairly easy tool to use and, you know, Gokul being so good at it, there was a lot of flexibility to think beyond the version one. So I think mm -hmm. there were a lot of new things added, like if users want to freeze their streak, we can we have chat support in in the app itself, such mm -hmm. stuff. I said, can we have this also, Gokul? Can we have? And I think he gave me a free hand to design in, you know, whatever, whatever uh, I can think of. And mm -hmm. yeah, that was beautiful because I haven't, I haven't felt that experience before where I don't yeah. feel constricted on design. Yeah. So, yes, yeah. this was the design we made. So this was a design and uh, we just go over Flutterflow's dashboard and uh, uh, explain things how we uh, built here in Flutterflow. So so this was the initial app uh, over pages, which uh, was in the version one. You should build that, which we explained that, which was built in weekend. Okay. And uh, this was, uh, as I said, completely used Flutterflow's uh, templates, which actually made development faster. So we don't need to sit on UI and uh, uh, all those flows and all. So we yeah. just focused on one particular user flow where they come, register themselves, and uh, come uh, start their uh, practicing journey. And uh, initially, after the, uh, she, uh, Asta was uh, satisfied with Flutterflow, and gave, she got confidence that Flutterflow is the one we we'll opt into. And we went to uh, professional design, and uh, finally, it is, uh, it is developed in Flutterflow. As you see, various screens, and uh, uh, the exciting part is the chat, uh, which uh, was custom built in Flutterflow, which I use cloud functions and uh, all these uh, things to make uh, re more real time. And uh, uh, the a lot of player, yeah, I think yeah audio cool. player. Audio player was the uh, one thing also. So, so these was the pages and. Uh, uh, as I said, the main core of this app is uh, cloud functions, which actually functions uh, uh, keeping level of the users into new levels and with basic conditions, like as the, as Asta Shah said. So we have uh, uh, the main point of this thing uh, journey is discipline uh, as they uh, practice uh, their uh, daily sessions, meditations daily. So we had uh, various conditions like uh, people should uh, not miss any days. So for example, they they are in uh, they are completed up to level two or three, and they missed up uh, upcoming two days or three days. They will re be reset to one. So they are uh, back to day one. So just for uh, discipline uh, condition, and also we have uh, features to freeze. Uh, uh, the journey so with they they made to make sure that they are not into uh, further levels without uh, they, they are not being resetted because uh, because on uh, certain circumstances people wanted to uh, pause the journey or discipline so this was just uh, based on customer feedback we uh, designed this uh, code Correct. and after Let's that into the design of the newer version google and i'd love to give like the viewers a bit of a walkthrough of you know um, yeah, what the product looks like now. Yeah, 
yeah so sec second version was fully uh, uh, built on like using the maximum resources provided by flutter flow all the custom action widgets and all the uh, all the, the stuff which is uh, provided like uh, as you see we have written some functions widgets and uh, uh, for actions which uh, help uh, in building user flow uh, in the main app of say uh, version 2 we'll just go over that uh, right now and uh, talk about it so the version what you're seeing right now is the second version which we built in uh, flutter flow yes so this so, is like the onboarding and mm -hmm. you know you can choose what your current focus state is these are mm -hmm. uh, between the five states of mind as per yoga psychology then you move forward and you understand what are the values and key features of this app mm -hmm. uh, this was a beautiful onboarding and mm -hmm. uh, then there's again a otp authentication and uh, yeah, so all the UI and user flow was uh, uh, enhanced in the second version and uh, making more intuitive, like adding some of cool stuff like uh, these custom widgets which we have done. So just to make uh, users feel excited on each uh, uh, day when they are in every session. So yeah, so, so this, this is a way cool. for them to add notifications on a particular time that they want to practice. Yes, yes, correct. So. So this is the overview and this chat, which I was telling, which was custom built. So they are, this is a real time support chat type of thing where users can uh, real time chat with uh, Asta directly and uh, whatever things they wanted to share, they can just uh, chat directly. As you see here, we can, it is real time. So we do, uh, it's not, I didn't add too much load. As I said, I used cloud functions and uh, all the, the main focus is about the scalability of the app, focusing on the scalability, designing the database accordingly and uh, optimizing it uh, to that level. So even we have uh, uh, more users in the uh, future, we don't have any lags or stuff. So uh, we kept that in mind and uh, scalability on mind, we built the second version. Yeah, so the same flow as you see in uh, version one, the uh, things are UI is, uh, UI is enhanced and uh, uh, the user flow and some features were added extra on this, on the same user flow, all this custom Corazole and uh, all this stuff. And as you see, yeah, uh, you want to yeah. tell something, Asta? Yeah, this is actually my favorite part. So now this is the new daily, you know, screen that they see where... Uh, uh, the today's yeah. practice okay so this is just understanding how the app works which is a great carousal and then after that on today's practice every day the user has one practice to do so mm -hmm. you can just go to today's practice Google. yeah so and basically when you click that you uh you know just see today's session yeah, yeah. and uh, you do your practice for that day like this so there's a video and when you're done with the day it it takes yeah. you to you're done and yeah. Um, yeah everything i mean everything that you know i dreamt of was true on this app and it, it took a week which was a big deal and yeah. just two concluding comments from my end that um, i think it's a it's a very hard thing being a founder who is non-technical and yeah. for a long time i used to think this is maybe a long shot uh mm -hmm. you know, without a cto or without funding having a bootstrap startup is this even possible i had a lot of self doubt about all of these questions yeah i and i'm not mincing my words when i say that i feel it's possible now and it's only because of finding flutterflow as a tool <laughs> and also finding google who can work so well on flutterflow so i am almost i'm very very grateful actually um yeah to what we can do and now my dreams and my aspirations are touching the sky all thanks to what we've done in the last week yeah so great to hear that asta so hope uh, like i'm happy to hear the these words that you are happy with the things which were kind of, uh, built so far and yeah so this was the thing uh, so we just we need to uh, uh, express our uh, uh, emotions on the things uh, on even founders emotions as they struggle building startups on their ideas and different things experience she also as she said uh, in the uh, starting of this uh, video so she uh, she was almost like six months she was wandering around different agencies and uh, they are different uh, testing on different languages building apps in different languages and all and at last uh, we are we are done with the thing which is fully developed and uh, we have done pretty amazing work and yeah i'm happy to hear that uh, uh, she is happy with the thing awesome yeah.
Thank you so and, much, Bhupal. And uh, yeah, I, I also I just like to tell this is the basic mm -hmm. admin panel, which was also built with the app uh, using some of the templates provided by Flutterflow. The basic chat uh, where uh, support chat where uh, founder can directly interact with users and uh, keep them engaged. Um, yeah, this is the basic one where we can yeah, add even uh, levels. Adding content like you know, adding videos, audios. I don't have to be reliant on uh, yeah. the tech team. I can do it directly from this admin panel. Uh, so yeah. all of these things are a big, and the fact that all of this happened together is is just yeah. Uh, insane. Yeah. So great. Uh, it was uh, great uh, talking with you, Asta. It was great video, and uh, yeah, we hope. Uh, a uh, lot of other things uh, coming in future. We built amazing uh, company, and uh, yeah, that's what my, my thoughts are. All the Fingers best. Crossed. I'm rooting for Google. <laughs> I'm rooting for Still, and I'm definitely rooting for Flutterflow because I love yeah. what you guys are building. Thank you so much. Yeah. So yeah, I like to conclude the with this ending things. Thank you so much, uh, Asta, for trusting in the process and trusting me uh, building uh, uh, with Flutterflow. I always build. Uh, it was a great journey for me also, and even uh, uh, lately, Flutter Force uh, uh, improving uh, greatly, providing a lot of features uh, and uh, feasibility to uh, uh, developers, building complex workflows, logics, and all. So we can uh, build a scalable app yes. uh, <laughs> out of Flutterflow. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you for uh, uh, seeing this uh, cute journey. What we have done, and uh, yeah, I like to end this uh, with. Uh, uh, hope that uh, uh, a company do well with the app which is developed. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much yeah. from India and uh, looking forward to the results. Yeah. Thank you, Asta. Thank you, Bye -bye. everyone. Yes. Bye.